Get all your Dragon Ball Super Broly figure arts at Big Bad Toy Store at the link in the description down below. Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Kaiju, and more. It's Steven's Toy Reviews. Hello there, collectors. Steven here, and I'm back with another unboxing video with one of my favorite characters in Dragon Ball history. And guess what? I mean that because he's brand new and he's in the canon. And today we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Broly Full Power. Yes, what an awesome day for collectors and Dragon Ball fans because Broly is now officially in the main continuity. He is canon. Yes, even though this particular form basically got bodied by Gogeta at the end of the movie. Oh, spoilers for, you know, a movie that's been out for a few months. But anyway, we finally have a figure arts of the canon Broly, and that is pretty dang sweet. Now, this guy has been pretty difficult for folks to get because pre-orders sell out whenever they open up. So if you're still looking to get one, keep an eye at the link in the description down below and keep refreshing so this way you can get your order in. Now, without further ado, enough of the jibber jabber about this guy let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box where we can see that much like his pants the box has an overall i guess you could say purple theme to him because instead of using green exclusively they decided to add in purple to complement his colors so yeah that's pretty cool that frieza army and all that's fun stuff yeah. So the front of the box, we do have the window, as usual, and a couple of the accessories through that window. On the back of the box, we have some promotional pictures of just Broly, and then we have one action shot of Broly going after Gogeta. Pretty cool. Wonder how that fight's gonna turn out. Yeah. On the top and the bottom and the sides of the box, we just have either a continuation of the window or a continuation of the general style guide for the Dragon Ball Figure Arts boxes, which is just going to be similar to a manga where we're going to have the promotional images in black and white so this way it looks like they're coming straight out of a uh, well manga yeah not much else to say about that so without any more talking we're going to go ahead and turn on the big camera here and i'm going to go ahead and open broly up now the way i like to open up my figure arts is the side without the window just so this way i'm not constantly uh moving that plastic time and again so let's go ahead and open up the not legendary Super Saiyan here. So let's go ahead and first and foremost remove the big old clamshell. So this is everything that comes with Broly. And wow, you can see how heavy this guy is. He's bending the plastic when he's just standing there on his own. Okay, that usually doesn't happen with figures. So I'm going to put him off to the side. And uh, let's take a look inside here. Uh, for some of the previous Dragon Ball releases, they've had little leaflets in there promoting some other releases coming up. But uh, not here. You think they would for uh, at least the Super Saiyan Blue Goku renewal. All right. So please do not use excessive force when bending, pulling, or attaching movable parts. You can see that there. So pretty straightforward. It warns you about stuff rubbing off. Not a big deal. So basically, Broly is pretty straightforward. Nothing uh, too fancy about this release, which I guess is okay. Definitely should have come with at least some effect parts, especially for the uh, open mouth there. So uh, we're going to go ahead and open Broly up, at least the clamshell anyway. There's no tape securing Broly here. So we can just go ahead and remove this top part there. We'll take a close look at the faces really quick. Now, this is not a full-on review, so everything that uh, I have to say about Broly will be saved for a later day. All right, so here is the screaming mad face of Broly, which is pretty cool. Yeah, they added some nice detail in there. The mouth looks nice. No paint slop, which is always good. And then here is that maniacal face of Broly, which is kind of a classic Broly face, which folks will definitely love to have. I know I'm going to have this pretty much as my default Broly face because uh, even though the old Broly's not canon, you know, this, this, this is Broly. That's Broly. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get the jolly uh, not-so-green giant out of the clamshell. Ooh, he's big, beefy. And now let's go ahead and take off that protective plastic, which is going to be at the bicep swivels. So it looks like mine's got a little bit of a uh, an issue with the shading on it. Looks like an issue with the wash used right here. Not a big deal. We got that protective plastic we can just go ahead and remove. 
Got it at the bicep swivel, the shoulder joints, and the ab crunch as well. Anything tight, loose? No, he moves about as well as expected. I mean, I used the uh, previous Broly as a benchmark, which the articulation there was amazing, so there's that. All right, so he can't really look up that much, but he uses that joint. We have some protective plastic down here. So this moves, which is kind of cool. Uh, does this move? No, it doesn't look like it does. Legs are nice and tight. All right, so yeah, Broly is uh, Broly is pretty cool here. So review for this guy will be up soon. I need to finish up some stuff for the month of April, and then uh, I will be working on both the reviews for Broly. Whoops and uh, Gogeta. Now, if you're looking to catch Broly and Gogeta in action sooner rather than later, for my Patreon action figure gallery for the month of April 2019, I'm actually going to do a Dragon Ball Super Broly redo for the full photo shoot. So it will be uh, some reimagining of some of the shots in the movie and also a little bit more action with this guy and Gogeta because realistically speaking, with full power and Super Saiyan Blue, yeah, we didn't get a whole lot of fighting there. Yeah, so hopefully we can uh, we can rectify that, all right? All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to give the video a nice big old fat thumbs up, just like I've got right here, and subscribe so this way you don't miss the review. And I'd also like to say thanks so much to the patrons for the month of April, and, well, who's ever been a patron of mine because you've really helped out the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then, of course, we do have the end card that should be popping up right about now. Got a couple of clickable links, so go ahead and check those out. Also got a new T-shirt design up in the shop. All right, everyone, thank you again, and I'll catch you in the next video.